Well, did you have something to say, honey? I like to instruct all the lovely people out there in YouTube land. I want you to take a look. This is how Lori organizes the room. She comes in. She opens this cabinet here. Nice little cabinet, right? Pulls everything out. Puts it over here. One over here. And the boxes you don't want. This is for the cleanup guy. Guess who he is? And then we go over here. There's not much here to really organize, but I don't know what she's done there. Well, I haven't done anything there yet. Yeah, I'm well, just, probably, okay. I'm just, I was actually just going to come in and then tell we, them that we I come was. over here. What we do, we open the doors, <laughs> open the drawers, and we pull shit out. And we stack it here. We stack it there. <laughs> we stack it here. And all those well, now, honey, it's part of the condo method, and, the Marie Condo method. And then, after we're done doing that, on our organizing day, organization, organization day, <laughs> we go and sit down. <laughs> Stage right there. This is the only place Dave's got to sit in the whole world in this whole house except his room. <laughs> Look then at you Nemo. got Nemo over there. Of stuff on there. Nemo over there trying to figure out his pills. And she's about as organized as her daughter. As David pointed out, I am now into organizing. Uh, what most people would call the dining room, what I call my growing room slash storage room, because that's what it is. But yeah, it's as much a disaster as any other room in the house right now. And according to the Marie Kondo method, you pull everything out, you find out if it gives you joy, and then you either keep it or get rid of it. And so, as I have mentioned, that's not always practical. I mean, lie doesn't necessarily bring me joy, but it is necessary if I want to be able to make my own soap. And making my own soap does bring me joy. So, you know, and it's the same with the fertilizer for the plants. Fertilizer in and of itself doesn't necessarily bring me joy, but growing beautiful things in my garden does bring me joy and so sometimes there are things that are necessary in order for something else to bring you joy my cat yelling at me does not bring me joy but you can hear her and that's probably well i think there's no food in her dish so i'll have to check I'll have to check because she is definitely hollering at me but anyway yeah so this is where i'm at in this room at this time i have done some pulling of stuff out i still have this disaster to figure out uh, i've started organizing some of my soap stuff and then i've got a couple of things i just bought um some alcohol and some witch hazel just to have them on hand because i use them in my lotion and stuff what I really need to find right now is some place for all my canning stuff to go. But, you know, like I've been emptying out drawers and other things just to try to make some room for myself to try to find a place for everything. I have to try to find a place for everything because right now everything does not have its place and it's just making me a little crazier all the time. So, I'm going to go through the rest of this disaster and see if I can't bring some form of organization to it. Um, yeah, wish me luck. <laughs>
breakfast is being made and I'm going to be done for the day and let me show you what I've got taken care of so far. <laughs> so I have a, ba a box of stuff to go into the yard sale next month. I have all of my pots cleaned and wiped and ready to go. And then I've got some bigger, well, my ice cream buckets are down there and then my stuff for smoking. And now this cupboard is all nicely organized with my soap making stuff on the top two shelves and then some miscellaneous stuff on the bottom shelf, some ice cream lids and, and my laminator and stuff like that. This is all ready now for my hydroponic set up that I'm going to be testing out and then this will be set up for a couple of my larger plants once they come in and then we've got this all set up for plants and then there's all my canning goods all now in one place and organized so I can see what I have and not have to guess anymore uh, that got fully closed <laughs> It's got all my paper and my seeds and, and then a few random garden things in there. I still have those lights there that I haven't quite decided what to do with yet, but I am going to keep them. So uh, here's something that's going into the yard sale. Felt pens and pencil crayons. Uh, but my table is all cleared off and... Got rid of a bunch of the stuff from under the table as well. Still have this cabinet that I haven't touched yet. And this is the cabinet that stores all my larger appliances. And then also we have our cat food down there on the bottom. But there's my electric canner, my instant pot, my air fryer, my brand new canner that I haven't used yet. And then like a variety of a conglomerate of stuff. Like there's some jello stuff and there's some strainers and there's some extra uh, seals and there's some cheesecloth up there and a strainer up there and more stuff up there. So and now da -da -da. <laughs> so everything is nicely organized now I can see it I got rid of a bunch of stuff that was in there and let me take you I'm gonna take you through the kitchen which is slowly getting less stuff on the table <laughs> but look at these piles look at this back here all of this stuff back here is going in my yard sale next weekend and it's piled back all the way back to there and then I also have this pile of stuff here too and there's a lot of stuff in here like there's a drone it's my old drone uh, a nail drying kit one of those UV LED lights a set of speakers there's a theater whole home theater set in there uh, just all kinds of stuff but it's getting there slowly but surely So I'm trying to be a little bit quiet because Tabby is not feeling so great and she's over there sleeping right now and that's probably good for her. Um, she's getting older and she has arthritis and she's some days she wakes up and she's in a lot of pain. We have given her some more of her pain medication but uh, we'll see. If it makes her sleep that's a good thing. <laughs> she can sleep. She can sleep all she needs to sleep. Uh, she hasn't been able to get comfortable for a couple of hours. I've been sitting here watching her and she's been moving from place to place uh so anyway we'll see what goes on with that but there you go i have another room done it is about as done as it's gonna get we even went through the closet there and got rid of um some old coats uh not a lot of them because you know now's maybe not the time to be getting rid of clothes but you know i had one heavy winter coat uh that i got several years ago like 20 years ago and i you know i how often do you wear your heavy winter coat when you don't leave your house? Not very often. And then I get another one that's full length. So I don't need two heavy winter coats. So one of them's going in the yard sale. Um, and we'll just mark it down cheap. And hopefully somebody who can use it gets it. And otherwise, it'll if nobody buys it, we'll just put it in the donation pile and um, take them to a shelter or something. 
so that uh, people can have some warm coats because those are always handy and winter is now right around the corner. Um, anyway, <laughs> so things are moving along in that aspect. I've got a couple more rooms to do. I want, I've done most of the kitchen already, but I do want to go through my utensil drawers um, and clean them. They haven't been cleaned in years, uh, but pull everything out and give those a clean. And, and I got to tell you, one thing that I've learned about organization here, and, and by no means am I an organizing expert by any means. You can just have to look around my house to see that. But um, the Marie Kondo method is is working quite nicely for me. I'm, I pull everything out and like I'm not doing, like I saw her do one person's house and they pulled everything from the whole entire house and threw it into one pile. Okay, so I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm not doing that. I'm doing it section by section. So, you know, when I had that cabinet to do at the end there, I just did that cabinet. I pulled everything out of it. I gave it a good wipe down. I went through the stuff, um, put a bunch of it into my yard sale pile, and then organized the rest of it and put it back. And really, that's all you got to do. Uh, now that things have a place, for the most part, uh, like I said, I still have a few things that aren't quite organized that I haven't quite gotten to yet, but I have another week before the yard sale. The yard sale's next Saturday. So anyway, thanks for coming and hanging out with me. You know that I appreciate you every single time that you come in here. And I hope that you give a thumbs up and leave a comment if you can. Oh, and there's a thank you button now. Did I mention that I would like to start making a little bit of money from my channel? <laughs> I would really like that. It would really help because of the whole no job situation that's going on. And, you know, while we're we're okay, we're not suffering. It is getting harder and harder uh, all the time to get things done. So if I could make my YouTube channel uh, lucrative, that'd be super helpful for me not having to go find a job. So uh, I know there's a thank you button and I have a PayPal link down there. If you ever want to send anything through that, you're certainly welcome to. Um, if you think you'd be inter interested in a Patreon thing, let me know or a membership. Maybe I should start doing some channel memberships and have some special one-on-one -on -one time uh, with channel members. So let me know if that's something that would interest you too. Just leave me a comment and, and we'll go from there. We'll just try and build this up so that it uh, expands and, you know, if nothing else, we can bring a laugh to people's life once in a while because <sighs> life is hard and laughter is important. Anyway, that's my soapbox for today. Have yourself a wonderful day. Take very good care of yourself and I will see you soon. Bye now.